It was a life or death situation. An Albuquerque man on a quiet stretch of the Bosque Trail found himself suffering a heart attack. But that man was in the right place at the right time. News 13's Jessica Baron introduces you to the off duty UNM hospital staff who sprung into life saving action. First question is, does he have a pulse? And he did not. Medics at UNM Hospital, Ron Gray and Brandy Thompson are among the team that was on the Bosque Trail last month and helped save a man's life. And this guy, like, was basically this far away from the trail. I mean, he apparently veered off the trail and they and two other colleagues were participating in their first ever Day of the Tread Dia de los Muertos bike race on October 29th, a fundraising event where cyclists dress up in Halloween costume. But seven miles into the race, they saw a man on the side of the trail. Who looked like he had fallen and he was kind of limp and laying there and uh, he didn't look well. That man was Nicholas Juskowicz. He was suffering a heart attack. But he was also surrounded by medical professionals. A UNM surgeon first stopped to help, followed by Gray and Thompson, then two of their colleagues. There wasn't a lot of thinking. It was just, okay, this person is sick and he doesn't have a pulse, so we're starting CPR. All five medics took turns performing hands-on CPR for over 12 minutes. We just would switch out and we would just offer like I'm up next you're up next on a remote stretch of the bosque they had to figure out how to get an ambulance to their location eventually paramedics arrived using a defibrillator to restart the man's heart gray says they almost weren't at the right place in time we were actually running running a little late for the race so we actually started the race a couple minutes behind the start time so we were actually trying to catch up with our group had we been on time no we would not have been there by any means Gray and Thompson, along with other medics, ended up completing the 25-mile race. They hope their story is a lesson for more people to learn CPR and be ready to help. Of course, you you don't expect that. You don't go with face paint and a costume expecting that you're going to do CPR that day. But um, I was I felt like very honored that we could be there for him. Jessica Barron, Kerakui News 13. The story, the man who had the heart attack has since been released from the hospital and he's home recovering.